the chi square test for independence the chi square test of independence may also be used to test whether or not there is a relationship between two variable also notice that the data consists of frequencies not score let's take an example a company manager interested in college students to evaluate three new laptop models however the researcher suspect that junior student may have a preference for laptops that is similar to those used by the senior students to test this hypothesis the researcher studied a sample of 60 junior student and 60 senior student here is the sample distribution of the students so senior student are 65 and junior student are 65 among junior 65 junior student 27 like laptop of model a and uh, 20 students like model b and 18 junior student like model c 21 senior student like model a 34 senior students like model b and 15 senior student like model c let's enter data in spss Here's the variable view of SPSS because we have the two categories of the students: junior student and senior student. So value one assigned to junior student and two assigned to senior student, and select the nominal measure. And second variable is the preferences of the students for the laptop. So we have the three preferences: so one assigned to laptop A, two assigned to laptop B, and three assigned to laptop C, and select the nominal measure. Here is the data view. Data in data view, I have entered simply in column one. We have sixty-five junior student, so I have entered sixty-five times junior student, and sixty-five times junior student, and afterward I have entered sixty-five times senior student. So the total student are thirty, and uh, in second column, I have entered twenty-seven time laptop A model because twenty-seven junior student like model A, and afterward twenty junior student like model B. So entered. Here, like model B, twenty times, and eighteen junior student like model C. So I have entered eighteen time model C, and afterward, you see the twenty one senior student like model A. So I have entered twenty one time model A, and thirty four student like model B. so i have entered here 34 time model b and afterward i have entered 15 time model c and a senior student now analyze chi square test of independence click analyze descriptive statistics cross tab student goes to row and preferences shift to column click the button statistics select chi square press continue click okay and get the output this is the contingency table student and uh, pre preferences cross tab and this is the chi square look at the value of pearson chi square that is 6.716 with degree of freedom 2 and p value is 0.035 which is less than 0.05 so there is a significant relationship between the junior and senior student preferences for laptop now see the result in the form of table this is the chi square for junior and senior student preference for laptop and this is the chi square value 6.73 and this indicate the value obtained chi square with two degree of freedom 6.72 and degree of freedom is two because you know we have two categories of the student so row wise r minus 1 we have two rows 
So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. We have 3 columns. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. So the degree of freedom 2 and chi square value is 6.72 and p value is 0 0.013 and there is a significant relationship between preference of junior student and senior students for new laptop. I hope this video would be helpful in entering data in SPSS for calculating chi-square test of independence.